Hi everyone, it's Angela here again. Today we'll talk about a very interesting linguistics Olympiad problem on Japanese Braille. First, let's talk a little about Japanese Braille. Braille is a tactile writing system based on a series of raised dots that is widely used by the blind. It was invented in 1821 by Louis Braille to write French, but has since been adapted to many other languages. English, which uses the Roman alphabet just as French does, require very little adaptation. The languages that do not use the Roman alphabet, such as Japanese, Korean or Chinese, are often organised in a very different manner. Japanese Braille is also known as Tenji, dot characters. The question requires us to decipher the Tenji from the word karaoke to match the below Tenji characters to words, and then some translations. Looking at the first question, the following Tenji represent Atari, Haiku, Katana, Kimono, Koi, and Saku. Ignore my Japanese pronunciations. Um, which is which, you don't need to know either Japanese or Braille to figure it out. You'll find that the system is highly logical. Looking at karaoke, Tenji in this case seem to be in lots of two. This means Tenji for karaoke can be separated into four sections. However, simply looking at the alphabet of the word, it cannot be easily divided into four parts. Well then, how can it be divided? Thinking logically, this is another writing system problem, and it is not an alphabet problem. The word karaoke in Tenji, it has four characters, reading out aloud karaoke. We'll realise that Tenji characters relate to its syllabus structure. Well, you might say, I don't know about linguistics. What is syllabus structure? Well, in a simplified version, it is one character to one sound. For example, ka ra o ki has four syllables or sounds, and it matches the tenji characters. So counting syllables of the other words can also confirm that tenji is syllabary. Inside the syllable structure, we also need to understand how consonants and vowels are represented. Personally, I will not begin by figuring out the vowels and consonant, as I find it slightly harder to do it straight away. I will try to figure out as many answers as I can before looking into that. Looking at Japanese words, we can already easily figure out two already, saku and katana. From karaoke, we know saku will have the same ending as karaoke. And the only one that matches is B. Therefore, we know Tenji for syllables Sa and K. We can also figure out Katana, as karaoke begins the same way as Katana. And the only one that matches again is C. And we can also figure out the syllables for Ka, Ta and Na. There's another word we can simply figure out without figuring out the vowels. is Atari. It has three syllables and it has the same middle syllable as katana. Therefore, the only one that matches is F. And from that, we know vowel A's tenji look like this. From this, we look back at karaoke. We can see that ka and ra have the same upper left dot in yellow. And we know that there's a, that is vowel A. Ka and ra, they differ only on the second dot position. Furthermore, ka and k have the same second dot position down right. Therefore, consonant k is a dot in purple, and we can figure out vowel e in green is the upper three dots, and o is shown there by two dots diagonally across. From this, we can figure out the remaining words, koi, haiku, and kimono. Only haiku has a vowel a in it the first syllable. Therefore, in Tenji, the only option remaining for that the first character has a top left corner dot is A. Therefore, we know that A is haiku, and we can further figure out that vowel I is and vowel U is. Taking away the consonant K, then we can figure out koi, as it is the only one left 
ending in vowel I, and therefore kimono is D. The vowels are represented in three dots at the upper left part of the diagram. This is what we can conclude from the first part of the question. The first part of the question is complete. Now, moving on. From the first part of the question, we already figure out these clues, the vowels and the, the above syllable. From these, we look at question 2G. By simply comparing, the first two syllables are k, ka and ra. However, the third involves some thinking. Five out of the six dots are filled, and the three vowel dots are all filled. This means the vowel in this case is e, and comparing the bottom two dots with syllable ta, we know vowel a is one dot in the top left corner, therefore consonant t is two diagonal dots, and it is the same as the bottom half of the third syllable in question 2g. Therefore, the third syllable is t. Therefore, 2G's answer is Kara 2. Looking at 2H, knowing the first syllable is A, the second syllable has vowel I, and with one dot in the bottom left corner, we can compare it with syllable NO, and we can figure out that consonant N is the dot in the bottom left corner, so the second syllable is NI. Looking at the third syllable, we know that this vowel is E, and with all three dots filled for the consonant part, we can compare it with MO, and realise consonant M is all three dots on the bottom, and therefore the last syllable is M, and the answer for 2H is anime. Well, all of the above are solutions that we figure out without knowing any Japanese or Braille. Looking at question 3, using the same system, we can easily figure out the answer. I'm not going to explain it here as it is the same as above. Try it out yourself and the answer is here. If any of it is confusing or have any questions about the problem in general, feel free to leave me a comment. So that's all for today. Hope you find this video helpful and learn something about Japanese Braille and the logic behind it. Subscribe and like for more videos from Logica Lee. Thank you.